Yeah, boys <laughs> of the free. Oh, Our John Bochamp got, got okay, bar. Okay. Yeah, that's what Flavor Flav get. Yeah, Boston. Of course then. We got Boston. <laughs> I mean, there's no there's no real introduction needed here. Flavor Flav joins the show bright and early this morning. I, I love this so much. Um, Celtics Pacers playoff game. We're just going to get right into it. You were at game, what, three in Indy? Talk to me about that yes. experience. Did it feel like uh, Indy had no shot? Hey, let me tell you something, man. Being at that game was one of the greatest experiences, man, because I've never really been to, you know, too many playoff games in my life. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I was lucky. I was lucky enough that the playoffs was happening at the same time that I was out there for the Indy 500. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. And, you know, Drew Holiday, Dax. My boy, that's my guy. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? And I said, I said, this is perfect timing. I'm going to see my boy Drew tonight. I'm going to go see Drew tonight, and I want to see Drew knock him down. Oh, you know what I mean? So, it was a great experience, man, to be at that game. Wait, real, I, real, real good. We're showing him, giving you uh, his jersey. I'd have to imagine in your life, Flavor Flav, you've gotten a lot of like cool gifts from athletes, from other celebs. Like, where do you keep all of these jerseys and whatnot? Well, honestly, to tell you the truth, I keep them in a safe place. You know what I'm saying? And that jersey that I got right now from from Drew Holiday, I'm putting that bad boy in a frame, and it's going up on the wall, y'all. Could be the MVP that. of these finals. Flav, earlier this season, you sang the national anthem in Milwaukee, which yes. everybody loved. Thought that was fantastic. Was that a bucket list item for you? Is that something you always want to do? How did that come about? Yeah, that was definitely a bucket list item. I always wanted to, wanted to do it, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted to sing the national anthem. So, you know, I got to, I, I got to meet the president of the, of the Milwaukee Bucks and everything, you know what I'm saying? And I told him, you know, because Marjan Bochamp, that's my nephew. That's, mm. my, that's, that's my nephew, you know what I'm saying? Y'all better look out for him next season because he's coming up. But anyway, <laughs> so I told the president, I want to see the national anthem. I'm coming to Milwaukee. He said, well, send me a video of you singing it. What an audition. I, I happened to have a video on my phone right then and there, and I, I sent it to him. I gave it to him. The next day, he called me back and said, Flave is done. You're singing the national anthem in wow. Milwaukee. I'm like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> so, Flave, we think a possible arena tour next year, because you know it got some traction afterwards. You said that other teams were reaching out to you. Is this something that you want to continue to do or do somewhere else? Not really. And the reason why is because, Fair. I mean, I don't want to be known to go around singing the national anthem and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's got funny. I, I, think, I feel you. I, I, I mean, you know, I, I mean, it's something that I would do again, and I want to do it again, you know what I'm saying? And I, I sing this song for a lot of, you know, my relatives that was in the war back in the days that didn't make it back home, you know what I'm saying, in the whole nine. So I'm singing it for them, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I do want to, I do, want to do it again, though. And, and, and next time I do it, hopefully it'll probably be in New York for the Knicks. That's mm. what I'm talking about. Flav, I, I see you decked out in your, in your Celtics gear, but I know you grew up on Long Island. Lifetime uh, Knicks fans, tell me one of your one of your greatest Knicks moments of all time. My greatest, one of my greatest moments, my one of my greatest Nick moments <laughs> of all time was when the Knicks were playing Miami Heat. When the Knicks was playing Miami Heat, and I went to that game, and when I got and when I got to the game. The whole team stopped. The, the whole New York Knicks team stopped, and they came over to me to give me a pound and everything, you know what I'm saying? And also, that's back in the days, you know, when um, Alonzo Mourning was playing, because I really went down there to say what's up to Alonzo Mourning, because he married one of my best friends, Tracy, you know, back in the day, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I went down there to see Alonzo Mourning, and then when the Knicks see me, Everybody stopped <laughs> what they were doing, and they kept, they left the court to come over to me to give me a pound. I mean, That's one awesome. of my greatest so, Knicks moments they not? of all time. The, um, yeah, Knicks had a great season, and, and it was such a good story. And I know injuries and all that couldn't get past Indy. So let's let's put a GM hat on you for a second here. If you hey, could do anything, I got one more. I got oh. one more. I yeah. got one more. Go ahead. I got one more. When I went to the Knicks game, 
You know what I'm saying? Me and my boy Flo, my girlfriend, we was at the Knicks game. You know what I'm saying? My boy Randall. There is. The court to come <laughs> over to give Flavor Flavor Pal. I said, that's my guy right there. I love that man. You know what I'm saying? So that was one of my greatest moments, too. All right. Another so then, greatest Knicks moment. Okay, wait. So then you're not trading Julius Randle. Is that what I'm gathering? We're not doing that? Huh? We're not going to trade. I love Julius Randle, <laughs> okay. man. And, and I think... I, I think if Julius Randle was playing, his contribution to the game would have would, would have got the Knicks that trophy, man. The, the Knicks would have been in the finals right now if Randle was still playing. Blave, Kalen Clark. But they did a good job. Great they job. Did a, they, the Knicks did a great job this year. You know what I'm saying? We was very, very close. This is the closest that we've been in years, boy. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> The Knicks could use Caitlin Clark, maybe. Okay, really? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Don't Boy. you start. Um, Caitlin Clark <laughs> didn't make uh, Team USA, the, the women's Olympic roster. Do you think that was a mistake, Flav? Do you think Caitlin Clark deserved to be on Team USA? Look, check this out. When it comes down to Caitlin Clark, man, first of all, let me tell you something, man. The best that did it. I don't care. In the WNBA, man, she set records. She broke records man that girl is a beast you got so many girls in the in the, in, in the league right now that's so jealous of her man and i mean come on let the girl live man let the girl breathe man i i, I want to go see her play one day you and should I met, yeah 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 i met the i i met the uh wife of the coach that um that that coaches the fever that coaches Caitlin Clark and she asked me did I want to come to a fever game I said hell yeah <laughs> I want to come see Caitlin Clark the sure I want to see Caitlin Clark man play man <laughs> that girl is a beast man you know what I'm saying so yo she's in the right place right now I think she's in the right place you know what I'm saying and maybe if she would have went overseas to play no. for a little while maybe no. she might have got hurt maybe it might not have been meant for her yeah maybe no. it's meant for Caitlin Clark <laughs> to be right where she is right now, carrying shit up and making buckets. It'll set, it's going to settle at some point, maybe not soon, but it will. Speaking of the Olympics, by the way, uh, recently you pledged your support for the U.S. women's water polo team, which is the first time I've ever talked about water polo in my career. <laughs> how, how is Flavor Flav involved with water polo, and are you going to Paris to watch? Oh, well, definitely. First of all, you know, um, you know my manager, Red Maggie's story. And, you know, she turned me on to it. You know what I'm saying? And when I read Maggie's story, you know what I'm saying, Maggie Stephan's story, I'm like, you know what? This wouldn't be a bad idea to just step in and help these girls out, man. You know what I'm saying? These girls don't want three Olympic medals. You know what I'm saying? And, and right now, water polo is still not really a big recognized sport like football or basketball or baseball or anything. But it's a hard sport sport to play, you know what I'm saying? And all these girls want is just the recognition, man, of you know, for what they do and everything. <clears throat> so I would love to I would love to see the sport grow. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to step in and sponsor these girls. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sponsor this Olympic team. And not only that, but I'm the first to do it. Nobody else has ever done it. So maybe by me sponsoring this women's po um, water polo team might open the doors for other people to step in and sponsor some of our United States Olympic teams. Well you know what I'm saying? Because not even the not even the, the government is sponsoring these teams, man. But you got played, though. They got played. They got, I, got <laughs> I love that. that. No, that's, that's awesome. That. That's cool, man. I like that. Play, you were at the Dead concert at the Sphere this weekend, and you posted a picture. Oh dear. Of you and Martha yes! Stewart. Yes! The duo that we all needed. How, what was this show like? How dope is this for you? Are you a deadhead? Like, yeah. I need to know everything about what happened this weekend. Happening. Well, let me tell you, I've always been a big fan of the Grateful Dead, man, ever since I was young. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows about Grateful Dead. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I, 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 ha I, I happened to go to their concert at the Sphere, and while I was there, and the next booth, and the next booth over from me was Martha Stewart, you know? And I was like, wow, that's really cool, Martha Stewart in the building. <laughs> so as she was leaving, my manager said, Blade, Martha is leaving, Martha's leaving. I said, I got to get a picture. I got to get a picture real quick. So I ran over to Martha, 
and I introduced myself to her and asked her for a picture, and she gave me a picture. She was she was real nice about it, That's even though awesome. she was rushing to go catch a plane. But oh, of course, yeah, it's all good, man. At least I got a picture with Martha. Man. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, Flav, last week you tried to save Red Lobster. You ordered one of everything <laughs> on the menu, and last night wow. I had some Cheddar Bay hey. biscuits myself. Yeah, so a true hero. I, I, I understand. What is it that you love about Red Lobster? <laughs> And how much of it hey, did you actually all, eat? <laughs> first of all, let me tell you, Red Lobster was always one of my favorite family restaurants to take my whole family to, you know? And I've been going to Red Lobsters, man, since like, like 87, 88 and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I always, I always, I, I like crab legs. I like lobster. <laughs> I like steak. You know what I'm saying in the whole night, and and I love the shrimp scampies up in there. You know what I'm saying, but the biscuits, the biscuits, biscuits, geez, man, immaculate, crazy. So we gotta save the biscuits. We gotta save. Flair Flair saving them. I ain't let Red, I ain't let Red Lobster close their doors. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my fame and my notoriety, and I'm gonna try to help out Red Lobster. This is like, word to the bird. Gee, I'm dead serious. So Flair, I love Red Lobster. I want, and I, I also want to know when you travel, how many clocks do you have in yeah. your head? Like, how many clocks do, does Flavor Flav travel with? Um, I travel with quite a few. <laughs> I, I, can't no say, I can't say the amount, but I but I got a bunch. Right now, I can go to my bag right now and pull out a whole bunch of clocks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. You know, but one of my favorite clocks, though, is that um, United States um, Olympic women's polo team clock that my girlfriend made for me. Oh, you, you got a Oh, okay. That's awesome. Wow, you are, all right. I got to ask you about the O.J. Simpson statue. Do you still have that thing? I sure do got my own <laughs> statue. You know what I'm saying? I got that statue from a radio show called Man Cow. Way oh, back in that. the day. Yeah. Yeah, way back in the day, Public Enemy went to do an interview on the Man Cow show, and that statue was just standing up in the studio. So I walked over to the to the statue when I was like, hey, this is a pretty cool statue. This would look great in my living room. Man Cow said, Flayed. If you can take it, you can have it. We <laughs> bought this. We bought this for ten thousand dollars. This was sitting by O.J. Simpson poolside. They said that we bought it for ten thousand dollars, but we were we are about to destroy it, Flav. So if you can take it, you can have it. Man, I told my nephew and my cousin, "Hey, put that dog on statue in the bus right now." And to this day. I still got the statue. I let OJ know that I, I had a statue yeah. and everything. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't try to and steal it from you. Nine. He just, he let oh, you keep uh, it. Oh, stop. No, We're not allowed no, to make jokes. No, he said, <laughs> no, he said, he said, play, keep it. hold on to it. And if anything happens to me, sell it. <laughs> I'm not selling sell that it. statue. Man. Ain't, ain't enough money in the world to get that statue from Flay right Damn. now. I'm keeping that statue, man, for me, man, later for that. That statue lasted a long it. time. I'm impressed. Flay, Flay, this has been an absolute pleasure. We appreciate the time, sir. Go women's water polo. Thanks for uh, Flay, bringing that to our red, lo red lobster to the <laughs> goddamn <laughs> moon. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Thank you all, thank you all for having me. Run it back, run it up, run it back, run it up, run it back, run it up, and run it back.